Hi folks, my friend Chris Pete is a great pilot. And as a result of teaming up with Billy Payne in his Builder Assist program, Chris has an excellent Just Aircraft Super Stole XL. Chris invited me to fly recently, and I was blown away. If you have any doubts, stick around and see for yourself. Wayne, as usual, good to have you in the cockpit. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is this is a joy. And I thought this might might uh, make a part three of flying with Chris. So this <laughs> this would be fun. Uh, I couldn't think of a, a nicer person to be with. So uh, uh, again, I appreciate this very much. Uh, you're getting always welcome. You got to come back up to uh, come back up to Maine in the winter time. We'll do this on skis. I would love to do that, and maybe maybe we can make that happen. We'll see. All right. Ready to go. Good, good. All of our engine stuff, RPMs, oil, fuel, everything's good. Green, green. Okay, last chance to check it out. No chicken <laughs> out here. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to go ahead and set flaps. Perfect. Power's coming in. Sticks all the way back, and away we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And we'll go ahead and lift the tail. Yep. And up we go. There's Isabella. Oh, how about that? Oh, we'll have a couple of views here from this front camera. Oh, look at how great it looks out here. Oh, it's beautiful. This is fantastic. I don't know what it is about this valley, but flying here just never gets old. And I can I can see what you mean. Yeah, that's, so we've had a uh, had a little change to the airplane since the last time we flew. Yeah, I um, I, uh, I installed a uh, a reversing propeller. Oh man! Um, I say I installed. So Billy uh, Billy Payne, as usual, was my adult supervision. <laughs> and um, uh, it's uh, made by MT. It's a it's an 80 inch. You know, variable pitch propeller. Yes, but it has the ability to go into what they call beta, which um, reverses the thrust. Oh man! So, um, uh, you know, so there was a little bit of uh, avionics changes to the to the panel. Sure. To make uh, make make that work. Um, and I tell you what, can't say enough about Peter Marshall with uh, with MT uh, MT USA. Because the initial prop that, uh, that I got from, uh, from Germany um, didn't fit. Oh. Yeah, the, the hub um, and the flange, just the boat pattern was right, but it just it just didn't, didn't work. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Peter Marshall uh, couldn't have been any better. He was fantastic. He, uh, you know, we sent the hub back to him. He shipped it back to Germany, and uh, it took a little bit, a month and a half, but... Uh, New uh, new hub came in. He put the he put the blades on it, and and I was back here, back here, back backing up on the airplane. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, um, you know, a lot of people think too if it's reversing, they think, well, how, how does the how does it does it go backwards? Yeah. And it's you know the the propeller is always spinning the same way. Right. It's right. just that the pitch of the blade. That's what changes. That's what changes. Yep. So that allows my thrust to go forward. Gotcha. Which, you know, which is okay for uh, on tires. But where it really comes into play is when you're... Uh, Five miles to the south, out of 4,000, rest down. And we got somebody coming in. Oh, okay. But, uh, and brush down traffic. You got one in the pattern right now, just a circle in the field. Um, what really comes into play is when I'm on floats. Oh, sure. Oh. I can tell how that would be a really big uh, help. Yeah, because now I can approach the dock. I can stop. I can back up. Yes. Like a three-point turn. Um, it also has a, um, call it a feathering function. It's, it's not really feathering in the sense that, uh, you know, what a turbine does. Right. But it's basically zero thrust. 
at you. So I can start the engine at the dock and I'm not producing any thrust at all. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, which allows me to warm the engine up and I and I haven't even untied yet. Sure. Yeah, so it's, um, man, oh man. I'm just having nothing but fun with it. Well, now I would you say the uh, obviously the 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 uh, shaft is turning it all the time in the same direction. Yep. You're changing pitch, and I would think you know it's sort of like when you when a, you feather a prop, but this goes into a minus feather to give you give you the uh, thrust in the other direction. Correct. Oh, that's so cool. You know, I mean, it does have some. There are some limitations to it. Right. Um, there are three limitations primarily. One is RPM. Uh huh. So um, it won't go into beta um, above 1,400 RPM. Okay. Once I'm in beta, I could go above 1,400 RPM to produce more thrust. Oh, okay. But um, but I can't I can't transition into beta above 1,400 RPM. Right. Um, the uh, airspeed is uh, 40 miles an hour. Um, it won't go into beta above 40. So. Um, Again, that's a safety feature for uh, you know for flying along. It won't it won't accidentally go into uh, go into beta. Right. And then the uh, the, uh, the final limitation that I'm actually finding out is um, oil temperature. Um, 219 degrees is my upper limit for initiating beta. Oh wow. Where yeah. the engine, Rotax 915, very happy at 230 degrees. So kind of going through, kind of going through some modifications to to the cow to bring some more air in and try and cool things off a little bit. So um, going a 90 degree day in the summertime, I can still get, uh, you know, I can still utilize my beta. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so anyway, and I again, I encourage encourage anybody who's watching your videos, if you are even thinking about building an airplane, man, get after it. Yes. Um, no, exactly right. Because yeah. you can do it, uh, especially if you get into a good builder uh, assist program. Right. So we can, uh, now do you want to go in and do um, do some landings and do that uh, stall cross? Yeah, would you mind? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we can do, do that. That, that okay. would be wonderful. Uh, Fast town traffic, black super stalls are uh, extending the upwind leg. Gonna go ahead and uh, come around to the left, enter it downwind for 1-8 brush down. Oh boy, I can't tell you how much how much fun this is for me to do this. I I, I know you have fun flying. I have uh, it's probably as much fun, if not more, to be able to sit here and and they basically have the best view of everything. Oh, especially because the foliage is starting to turn. Oh man, yeah. It's and wonderful. Down traffic, black super stalls on a left downwind. Uh, a beam the numbers for 1 8 press down. Cool. All right, so now I'm going to come back on the throttle, okay, and get my airspeed below 75, which is my flap deployment speed. Yep. I'm going to get a shot of the slats coming out here. Okay. You see how the slats auto deploy. Now they've come back in and based, they're based upon. The airflow, you know, whether they deploy or undeploy. There you go. See it pop again. Yep. And that's really kind of a—it's a, a good indicator of your airspeed. Yes. Um, so I don't even when those when those are coming in and out like that. Yeah. I know I'm right around 60 miles an hour. Right. And a little bit of a crosswind here. Nice. Well, I certainly appreciate this. Oh, glad to have you here, as usual. This, this has been fantastic. I guess the best part of everything here. So you can see, like right now, oops, I'm a little, uh, I went over the line. Oh, so I gotta back up. Got to back up. Wait a minute. Let me see you back <laughs> up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of look down. So I have a switch here for master arm, yeah. which arms the, uh, ah. arms the whole system. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And I get a positive indicator light here. 
I make sure that I'm under 1500 on the RPMs. Put that down. You can hear the change in pitch. Yep. Now I come in with, with a little bit of thrust. And we are just backing right up here, folks. I know you need to go forward to fly, but this is pretty <laughs> cool. Man, oh man, back it right into the parking spot. That's it. You know, I, I don't back it up too well at this point. I'm still uh, oh, you're learning. Still I mean, learning. But, process. Uh, yeah. Gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so for the stole cross competition tomorrow, that's right. Yeah. We're going to uh, we'll do a measured takeoff from this position. Yes. Fly down through the uh, through the end of the runway yep. across the river. Bank hard right. Yep. And then come into the crosswind runway. Um, which is basically east-west. Yes. Touch down, and we have to taxi to a point, uh, basically close to the road, turn around, take off again, Yep. go back across the river, right. 180, and then come back, and then for a short landing that's measured on this runway. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. All right. So we'll, uh, we won't get, get too aggressive here, but... Uh, just because I did have two slices of pizza for lunch. <laughs> we don't need to see those. Oh, gosh. All right, so I come in with some power. Cut off on the brake. All right. Gets up and goes. Build that airspeed. Yep. Now we're coming up to about 100, and now I'm going to pull. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no way. so cool. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris, uh, when you come in, I need you to park by the Adele plant. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay, so now we come around. Oh, we're yeah. coming in for the crosswind runway. Yes. Making sure not to hit the cones. Boy, what a what a thoughtful guy, you know that. Well, uh, Billy, will, <laughs> Billy will give me all kinds of grief. <laughs> uh, and this is also where it's like, how far do I fly down here? Yes. Um, yes. Knowing that I have a road and a and a fence right in front of me. Right. So then I come down to the uh, to the turnaround point. Yep. Set my flaps. Very cool. And take off again. Oh, yeah. And so now we come back over the river. Yep. Flaps are full, yep. and then this would be a measured landing. Yes, with a white line right down here, right. Which today, of course, I will hit right on the money. <laughs> yep. Well, I think you'll do it tomorrow as well. So. So this is no flaps. Starting to get a little, little bumpy. The winds are, are forecasted to come up this afternoon. Right.
doing is hey there. So I think they're doing the um, parking for uh, the pumpkin chunking next weekend. Oh really? Oh, that's, that's right. It is the weekend after. Yeah. Man, you're gonna have all kinds of fun here. <laughs> well, unfortunately, after the flying, I gotta get I gotta get back north. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Not getting any warmer, and you probably you know, I still got some firewood I gotta cut. Yeah. yeah. Understand. Nice. Are a couple of trees we want to avoid? Yep. Thank you, sir. That was that was incredible. Wayne, always glad to always glad to fly with you. Yeah, no man. So many people are jealous of me being able to sit in a seat with you and fly around and watch you perform this magic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fan fantastic. I don't think I got any anything of the instruments here. So I ought to do that. I'd be remiss if I didn't get the panels in there. And, uh, you know, you can certainly work the throttle and all that so that I'm not yep. to causing you to have to cram on the brakes or anything, so. Oh, good. All right. Oh, man. That was just phenomenal. Well, come on back. Do it again. Okay. Thank you very much, Chris. Welcome on behalf of Billy Payne. Welcome to Plane Fun Aircraft's uh, 2022 fly-in. Yeah. Um, if you're not here, you got one more day to get here, and uh, and I hope you don't miss it. Um, the weather's fantastic. You know, it's a clear blue. Winds are winds are picking up a little bit now, but tomorrow it's going to be light and variable. All kinds of good stuff for the games. Yeah. Um, behind me is. Uh, uh, black Super Stole. It's, um, it's a Super Stole XL. Uh, new from uh, from the last time I saw you, Wayne, is a, uh, a reversing propeller. Yeah. Um, from uh, MT. Uh, it's an 80-inch uh, reverse thrust propeller. Um, I wish I could tell you I was having fun with it, but um, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know. Yep. Um, absolutely. One of the things that um, that we do that we did have to do. I mean, I say we because I. First thing I did was I brought it here back to uh, Billy's with a builder assist program to make the necessary modifications. But um, uh, we had to you see the bump out on the uh, on the top of the cow. Yeah, that's to accommodate the um, accommodate a larger uh, governor. Um, oh, okay. Which will uh, which allows the the blade to go into what they call beta, which is reverse thrust. Right. Um, the, uh, and then here, you'll notice another intake, which um, allows more ram air to get to the oil filter. Right. Because one of the one of the limitations is um, 219 degrees for oil temperature to use the beta. Okay. Um, so trying to keep my oil temps cool so that the beta is available whenever whenever I want it. Right. Um, the uh, other than that, it's. Uh, it's a pretty standard Super Stoll XL. Um, the uh, it's just fun. Oh man, yeah. You know, nothing but fun. It's got a Rotax 915. Ah. 141 horsepower. Um, I've got almost actually I'm right at 200 hours flying now. Oh, fantastic. Yep. It's uh, uh, been flying it for just over two years. 
put it on floats yes and um, put it on skis in the winter time right and um, I've yet to find something the plane can't do yeah. to yeah. be honest with you um, my, my limitations start and I haven't even begun to to, to get to what, what the plane is limited yeah. to yeah. so uh, um, yeah a lot of fun well the last time that you and I got together was at your place in Maine and uh, we had a fantastic flight down <laughs> over the lakes and everything. It was really, really fun. And I remember you telling me about how you basically get to your skis on your airplane and you can go down, down a long lake and you Absolutely. got like an unlimited amount of space to play in. So. Well, to, uh, not, to, not to quote a you know, Game of Thrones, but uh, winter's coming. <laughs> oh, oh fantastic and actually you know one of the one of the things with the skis is um so right now i'm on i'm on the 29s yes which obviously keep the nose high give me a good angle of attack right for um for my slats yep but i don't use these tires on skis no okay just because the sidewall is a little too flexible ah. um and the ski the ski mounts here right so with a flexible sidewall, if you side load the tire, you could potentially hit the ski, oh. which you know isn't going to end well. Not a good deal, right? So now. I use a smaller tire, yep, more rigid, mm -hmm. but that then lowers the nose. Yes. Um, well, that's another good thing, isn't it? Well, it, not for takeoff because no. then I lose I lose angle of attack. Right. But Just the, visibility. I mean, over the oh, nose. Oh, absolutely. Just, yeah. But the benefit is when it was so last winter. My coldest day was uh, minus 29 Whew. that I flew. Yeah. When it's that cold, I mean, the air is, it doesn't get any better. Oh, yeah. And Gosh. that's where the heated seats are on high, too. Oh, man. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, Gosh. But, uh, all good. Uh, fantastic. Well, you know, it's always a pleasure to be with you and uh, to go flying with you. And I really thank you for you taking the time, first of all, to do this. And, um, Hope hope we can get together again, maybe in winter in in uh, Maine. That would be that would be a lot of fun. It. I very much look forward to it. And again, for for all you people out in YouTube land, build an airplane. Yep, you can do it. Come here, see Billy Payne. He can help you do it, and uh, and get after. It. Sounds great. Okay, well, Chris, thank you very much, buddy. It's always <laughs> a pleasure. All good. Take care. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I appreciate your comments, and I thank you for your support, and, you know, share these videos with your friends. Until next time, take care. <laughs>